Hey, I'm Goose, and welcome back again to Color Theory in Minecraft. Today, we're going to be doing a deep dive into color theory as a whole. It means we're going to be covering all the nitty-gritty little details about color theory and where it comes from and what it means. We have a ton to cover, and it's going to be a little bit different than the other videos, but I think you're going to really enjoy it. So first off, what is color? Well, to understand color, we need to understand a couple other things first. Waves, frequencies, and the electromagnetic spectrum. We're going to start with waves and frequencies using an example I think most people are going to be pretty familiar with, sound. In the most basic sense, sound is just vibrations in the air. As those vibrations change, the sound changes. This program right here is going to visualize the sound as a wave so that you can see how it changes. If we play a very low note, you can see that the waves are very long and spaced out. This is a low frequency. As we go up, the waves become shorter and the sound goes higher. This is a higher frequency. We can measure the distance between waves. This is called the wavelength. Shorter wavelengths are a higher frequency, and longer wavelengths are a lower frequency. This applies to anything that has consistent waves, not just sound. One of these things is electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation is made up of photons, which can act like particles, but they can also behave like waves. I bet you didn't expect quantum physics in a Minecraft video. Depending on the wavelengths, the radiation has different properties. These properties make up what is called the electromagnetic spectrum. All of the things you see listed here are just different wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation. Radio waves have the longest wavelength and can range from a few inches to thousands of miles long. Because the wave doesn't move up and down very fast, they can travel very long distances without running into interference. AM radio has a longer wavelength than FM radio which is why you can still hear AM radio channels long after we lose service of FM radio channels. As the wavelength gets shorter, it changes into microwaves, infrared light, and then into visible light. That's right, light is made of the same stuff as radio waves and microwaves, it just has a shorter wavelength. While radio wavelengths can be miles long, light wavelengths are around 200 to 800 nanometers. That's about the size of bacteria. When we change the frequency of sound, we get different pitches. When we change the frequency of visible light waves, we get different colors. Red has the longest wavelength, sitting around 700 nanometers. Infrared is right before this, and infrared actually comes from Latin, meaning below red. Yellow and green are around 600 nanometers, blue around 500, and violet around 400. Ultraviolet is right after this, and comes from Latin, meaning beyond violet. Remember how I mentioned FM radio doesn't travel as far because it has shorter wavelengths? The same thing happens with color. Blue light has a very short wavelength and is more likely than the other colors to run into particles in the air. This causes it to get scattered around in our atmosphere, making the sky blue. Pollution and smoke particles are much bigger than the particles in clean air, and they make even the long wavelengths like red and orange scatter around as well. This is why the sky looks red and orange when there's a lot of smoke, like during a forest fire. Light is the only part of the spectrum that we can see naturally but we've developed technology that allows us to capture other wavelengths and turn them into something that we can see. Infrared cameras can see in the dark, and we even use them on the James Webb Space Telescope to help us see further into space. Because the longer infrared wavelengths can travel further than visible light, it gives us a clearer picture of deep space. But that raises the question, how exactly do our eyes see color? Well, we'll cover that in the next episode, so make sure you stick around. There's a link to my Discord down in the bio if you want to come hang out, and if not, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!